Hey, it's Steve at Raybuck Auto Body Parts. We've got an update on this Amico uh, plasma cutter. This thing was cutting. We only, I only used it a couple of times. Um, and then all of a sudden it stopped arcing. So the little uh, gun here with the trigger on it, when you pull it, um, this has the uh, auto pilot on it, um, the auto arc. So it's literally as soon as you hit the trigger, it should start arcing. You don't have to touch a piece of metal. Um, it stopped working. And even if I touch the tip to a piece of metal, Obviously, with it being grounded properly, it um, it wasn't doing anything. So I got in touch with the uh, company. They had really good customer service. They said it's most likely the high frequency board. So they sent me a high frequency board. Well, they gave me the option if I wanted to switch it out or just switch out the, the board. And I thought, you know what? No sense in swapping this whole thing out. Just send me the board. So um, if you are having similar problems, if it just stops arcing and stops working, there's a pretty good chance then that that's what this is. So what you need to do, I took the rear plastic panel off um, and then I took out all of the uh, bolts or the little screws, the machine screws that were all around it. You don't have to take the front one off. You do need to take both uh, bolts out of the sides but you don't have to take that front piece of, piece of plastic off. Um, and then this unit, the metal frame, if I can wiggle it here with one hand, will just come right off. There you go. And it's off and there's the inside of the unit. So you got the inside, you can see there's all kinds of stuff going on. This particular board is actually located right here. So there are two screws in the top. I'm going to take those out, take it out, and then just uh, unscrew the old board, put the new board in, and then there's just a couple of plugs that you have to uh, um, mix in there or reconnect, and that looks like a ground wire. So I'm going to do that, and then we're going to get it fired up and see if that fixes the problem. Okay, I got the board swapped out, so here's the old one. There's the new one. Like I said, you take those top screws out, this whole panel just flips down, and then there's four screws around the uh, perimeter of this board that just takes that, uh, take the board out, and then you have all these connectors. I didn't say it, but I guess I should state it. Uh, it seems obvious, but when you do this, make sure this unit is unplugged and has been unplugged for at least like 10 or 15 minutes to let all of this, uh, the internal capacitors and everything dissipate, um, because if not, you can really get zapped, and more than zapped, it'll could kill you. Um, if you could see down in there, I mean, if you're not an electrical engineer or electrician or anything, just think about like the Iron Man movies. That's what this stuff looks like. That little arc reactor thing in the middle of uh, his chest. Um, these things will hold a lot of energy, so it's going to zap you. Anyway, super simple. Took these top two screws out, took these four out, just made the couple connections, reconnections. There's one, two, three, four, five, and then the ground wire. That's it. So I'm going to get it screwed back in, put everything back together. We're going to turn it on and see what happens. Hopefully it works. Okay, it's all back together. Turning it on. Let's see what we got here. Everything's reconnected. Just set it at 38 amps. You can adjust your amperage just by using this knob, and you got your post flow, which we don't have to worry about right now. Uh, we got air pressure. You can hear the air in the back. Got it grounded. Moment of truth. Let's see if this thing works. Yep, there you go. That's exactly what it's supposed to do. As soon as you hit that button, that thing's supposed to kick on. So perfect. That's what it was. This little board, high frequency board. So if you guys have a problem, anyone runs into a problem, whether it's with the Amico unit or maybe even another unit, I'm guessing it's going to be similar setup inside. Um, call their service and talk about the high frequency board. Um, yeah, can't wait to start using it. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.